boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue to talk about problem solving and using the RDW process to be able to model our thinking. And we're going to focus again on using a letter to represent the unknown in our problem solving. So our learning goal for today says, I can solve word problems using a letter to represent the unknown. So again, just like our previous lesson. So remember, RDW stands for read. So read the problem. Think about what the problem's asking us. Can I draw something? What can I draw that I've read in the problem? And write. What can I write as an equation to help me solve? And then what can I write to write a complete sentence for this problem? To answer the problem, actually. So let's look at our first problem. So we're going to problem solve with the unknown. You'll want to have um, your problem set with you, friends, because we're actually going to do number six in your problem set. So that'll be one less problem that you have to solve on your own. So if you don't have your problem set, pause it, pause the video, and make sure that you go grab it so you can do it together as we're going through. Okay, so here's our first question. The total amount of rain that fell in New York City in two years was 200 82 centimeters. In the first year, 185 centimeters of rain fell. How many more centimeters of rain fell in the first year than in the second year? So friends, what's this question asking us? What are we trying to find out in this problem? Well, we're trying to find out how many more um, centimeters of rain fell in the first year than in the second year. Do we know how many centimeters of rain fell in the second year? Did the problem tell us that so far? Yeah, no, it sure didn't. So we're going to have to solve two parts of this problem. This is a two-step problem. First, we need to figure out how many centimeters of rain fell in the second year before we can compare how many more fell in the first year than in the second year. Okay, so you guys are going to use the RDW process to solve this problem. You're going to make sure that you write a letter to represent the unknown in your drawing and then again in your equation. Okay, so remember again, this is problem set, problem six. So make sure you have that so you can solve it there so you won't have to submit something, um, do the work twice. Okay, so here is your question again. What I want you to do is pause the video and I want you to draw right now a model that will help you solve the first part of this problem. Remember we talked about the first part of this problem is finding out how many centimeters of rain fell in the second year. Okay, so we know how many fell in both years. In the two years it was 282 centimeters and the first year was 185 centimeters. So go ahead and pause the video Create your drawing that's going to help you solve the first step in this problem. Once you make your drawing, click play and then we'll go over it together. Okay, you don't have to solve all of it, just do your drawing and then we'll come back together and talk about it. Okay? All right, friends, if you need more time, make sure you click pause. If not, let's go over it together. So, as I was going through, I try and think about some different ways that you could solve the problem. So I have two models that I want to show you. And the first one is step one. Is step one with a tape diagram. So here I have year one and we have year two. We know that combined those two years had 282 centimeters of rain. We also know that from the question, it's telling us in the first year there was 185 centimeters. So I'm going to label that on my tape diagram as well. Now my year two, I don't know. So I'm going to label that as R for rain. Okay, just because that's what makes sense to me in this problem. Remember, you can use any letter that you like as long as you're consistent with the letter that you use throughout the problem. So did you come up with a tape diagram? And if you did, does yours look like mine at all? All right, super cool if it did. If not, let's take a look at how yours is different than mine um, and see maybe where we need to make some changes, okay? But I also want to take a moment and I want to show you a number bond. Now, I know that's another strategy you can use. Some of you prefer the tape diagram, but let's look at the number bond too. 
So you could have for step one, you could have your total is 282 centimeters. One part of your number bond would be the first year, and the other part of your number bond would be the second year, which is unknown, and it's a certain number of centimeters. So I labeled again that as R for the unknown. Okay, so that's just another way you could model this problem using a tape die or using a number bond. Now I want to talk about how we can actually solve this problem using a tape diagram because I think more of you go to the tape diagram to be able to solve than the number bond. So what I want you guys to do from here is I want you to write an equation that describes how you're going to solve this problem. So remember an equation, so it could be like 282 plus 185 equals R. Now, I'm not saying that's correct, but that's an example of an equation that you could write using that letter for the unknown. So go ahead and pause the video, write your equation, and then click play so we can look at what I came up with too. Okay friends, so here's what I came up with. 282 minus 185 equals R. Because when I look at, when I know the whole and I know one of the parts, I'm gonna subtract to find the other part. Okay, so now pause the video, solve this part of the problem and click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right friends, here we go. So I'm going to rewrite this vertically because I don't like solving problems horizontally. That's a little bit trickier for me. So I'm going to subtract in the ones place first. Two minus six, I can't do it. So I need to go decompose a 10. Once I use that 10, it turns into seven tens. And I can take that 10 and turn it into 10 ones. So now I have a total of 12 ones. So 12 minus five is seven. Now I go to the tens place of seven minus eight. Oh, I can't do that. So I'm gonna decompose a hundred. And then uh, I'm gonna decompose that 100 into 10 tens. So now I have 17 tens. And 17 tens minus eight tens is nine tens. And 100 minus 100 leaves me with zero. So for this problem, R equals 97 centimeters. So we're not done with this problem yet though. We still have step two to solve to be able to figure this out. Okay, so step two now wants to know how many more centimeters of rain fell in the first year than in the second. So when we look at step two, we're going to maybe stick with whatever strategy you used in the first one. If you use a tape diagram, you can use that again. That's gonna be the same model that I'm going to show you. So go ahead and pause the video and I want you to draw um, a picture or a model, so use the RDW, that goes along with the second part of this problem where you're finding out how many more centimeters of rain fell in the first year than in the second year. Okay, if you need more time, make sure you click pause. If not, let's go over it together. Okay, so I'm gonna label my tape diagram as year one had 185 centimeters. Year two, we just figured out in the problem before, I'm gonna label it as R, that we know that it was 97 centimeters. So I'm gonna replace my R on my tape diagram with 97 centimeters because that wasn't unknown before, but it's not after we solved the first part of the problem in step one. Now this part of the problem I don't know, and I'm gonna label it as M um, for this one because I wanna know how many more. So that's why I just chose the letter M. All right, so what do you guys think could be our equation to solve this part of the problem, to find out how many more? Yeah, I would think we could subtract again, okay? Typically, when you're finding out how many more, you're going to be able to be subtracting to be able to find out the difference for that, okay? So, again, I would reset it up or set it up vertically so I can solve that way. So go ahead and click pause on the video and I want you to solve this problem to be able to tell me what M represents in this problem for the unknown and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, so here we go. I'm gonna subtract. Five ones minus seven ones, can't do it. Decompose a 10, then I'm left with seven tens and 10 ones turns over into 15 ones. 
15 minus 7 is 8. I have 7 tens minus 9 tens. I cannot do that, so I'm going to decompose 100 into 10 tens, which gives me 17 tens now. And now I have enough to subtract 9, which would leave me with 8. So in this problem, m equals 88, and m represents how many more centimeters of rain fell in the first year than in the second year. So 88 more centimeters fell in, of rain fell in the first year than the second year. Okay. All right, so love it. Great job, friends. You guys did an awesome job problem solving using letters to represent the unknown. Make sure that you are using the RDW process as you're going through your problem solving today. So head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you have a great day. Bye, friends.